Well, new at 4.30, a big surprise for workers at a popular furniture store in Dallas. So Weir's Furniture Village on Knox is closing for a remodeling project. And that's where we find CBS 11's J.D. Miles today with a very unexpected but interesting find. J.D.? Ken, we all have stories, I'm sure you do, about finding forgotten or hidden treasures while moving or spring cleaning. In the case of this store, which is shutting down for a major remodel, they discovered a long-lost piece of history. Even without customers, it's a busy day at Weir's Furniture on Knox Street, which closed last week after 70 years. Employees are preparing to move hundreds of pieces of furniture so the 100-year-old building the store is in can be rebuilt. It's an old building. It's about 100 years old. That When it rains, it leaks, and the plumbing's bad, and the electrical. So we're really glad that we're going to redevelop this. CEO Mark Moore is also glad because the renovation project uncovered a 75-foot-long mural on a brick wall in the back of the store. What was here? Well, we had bookcases here with merchandise in it. Ice cream. Once those bookcases were moved, a small town scene emerged, still in vivid color. They include a barber shop with a singing quartet, a child writing on a wall, a newspaper office, and a cashier behind a desk. Well, they're awesome. Uh, they're kind of unique. They're different. Where I'm walking right now actually used to be an alley behind the store. But when the store expanded several decades ago, the mural was covered up and forgotten about. Moore says the cashier in the mural is his grandfather who founded the business. What did you think when you saw that? Uh, he wasn't having his best day because it wasn't <laughs> his best picture. Despite its sentimental value, most of the mural will have to be demolished when a new 12-story building Weirs will be part of is built. We've tried to look at retaining them, but uh, from what we've been told, it's not able to be done, but we're going to try and see if we can replicate it back in the new store. And that new building is expected to be completed in two years or less right here on this spot. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.